InsideHockey.com about the dynamic of wanting to move up, you know, individually, and yet, you know, you're part of a great team here that's going to do great things. Mm -hmm. Talk about that a little bit. I mean, how do you temper that, that, that desire to move up with, hey, we're, we're in this right now together? I think, uh, I mean, we work hard our whole lives to get to the top level we can, and, uh, you know, I mean, you always want to keep moving up no matter uh, what team you're a part of. Um, it's kind of an uh, unwritten you know, thing that you got to understand as a professional hockey player, and uh, I mean, your team understands. It sucks when the player does get called up and uh, and doesn't come back, but at the same time, you got to be happy for your teammates. Uh, like Chris Whitley just got called up today. Right. And, I mean, that's what we play for, and uh, you got to keep that in mind. And, uh, and you don't want to ever be satisfied where you're at, or or else you just won't you won't get better. So you just want to keep getting better. And moving up uh, happens, then uh, you're doing something right. Now you were. You were moved up, weren't you? Mm -hmm. Okay. Came back down. Or not down. I, I shouldn't say it that way, but came, came back down. here. <laughs> it's okay. So, I mean, how do you feel? Okay, you're, you're back here now. Disappointed or are you saying to yourself, great exposure, great opportunity? Well, in my case, um, I did get called up. I got went to Abbotsford. Uh, I was with them. Quad, they were in Quad City last year, actually, so I knew a bit of the guys there. I made it special. And uh, I twisted my ankle, actually, when I was up. So... Uh, they sent me back down for rehab, oh, okay. uh, so that's kind of why it happened. I wasn't disappointed because it wasn't because of my play. I did all I could. I played good in the two games I played in, and um, so that injuries happen. And uh, you know, uh, I came back here, and I'm just trying to keep working hard and uh, either get a chance uh, called up again or uh, help this team win, whatever I can do. How does it help you that the team does well? I mean, how does that enhance your value? Anytime you're winning, uh, it means you're uh, you're helping out and. Um, uh, so I mean, a lot of scouts uh, look at that, and and I'm a I'm a captain on this team too. So that reflects winning, reflects leadership, uh, and uh, so I try to focus on my part, on my role on this team, and uh, it's putting pucks in the net and um, and getting the guys up for the game. That's my job, and I take a lot of pride in it. Mm -hmm. I have one more question. Talk about the uh, <laughs> the fan support. You uh, you know you you play the politician that I I think it was after the first period where you said, hey, I love these fans, which is a great move, but. Obviously, you feel that way. Talk about the fan support. Well, I think their uh, their hunger to, to support us is uh, key. They 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 want to they want to support us. They want us to do well. They're at a lot of the events uh, that we put on. Uh, you know, they are supporting us. Uh, I like to see them be a little louder uh, more often in the game. You know, it gets in the other team's head when when they're loud. Um, I think they're still uh, feeling out process where they're trying to kind of figure out how the game works, and um, that comes in time. Uh, but. The, their eagerness is really impressive, and, and uh, we appreciate all their support so far. Great. Thank you. All Good right. seeing you again. Um, just kind of build on that. Um, you know, you obviously, your, your opportunity with Abbotsford, um, I actually got to learn a little bit just mm -hmm. now finding that out. Um, you know, as, as far as, as the play goes, you had a couple of games with them. Um, you know, were, were you in a role that, that you were comfortable with that you kind of play? Did you play a similar role that you would on here as kind of a, you know, a scoring threat? And yeah. Um, when, they, when they called me, they said they want me to go up there and play the same way I've been playing here. Um, what, they, what they did do is move me to center, mm -hmm. which I grew up playing. I'm comfortable playing, but it's a lot different from playing the right wing. you got to be yeah. a lot more responsible. Um, in that level, too, there's a lot more skating involved. Mm -hmm. So uh, you're, you're hard down and back every time. Yeah. And uh, so... The biggest adjustment is the speed of the game, and you're always skating hard. I mean, in this league, you can kind of cut some corners, which isn't good, but it's just, you know, I mean, everyone does it, and it's yeah. just kind of the level you're at. And, um, so, yeah, just adjusting to the speed of the game was probably the biggest difference. Uh, obviously, your trainer does a lot of work in getting you, you know, conditioning. Was that conditioning? Did you feel that, that it was sufficient, or do you really feel like it even needs to go up another step to, to play at that level? Oh, yeah. My, my conditioning, personally, has always been right. my downfall. Uh, you know, I've always been a player that kind of thinks the game instead of, uh, you know, mm -hmm. overworks. I always kind of save energy and use it at the right times. It's always kind of been a, you know, a, a, a positive in my game. But uh, when you're up there, there's no cutting corners, and you got to always be skating your hardest. And, yeah, I was a step behind a, a little bit and not, not being used to skating that much. Uh, but, I mean, it would have only taken me a couple of games to get the hang of it. Even the second game, I was a lot better than the first game.
Um, you mentioned, you know, down, coming back down for some rehab and everything. Did they get, kind of give you any sort of a, an idea of, you know, when they might be looking to, to ask you to rejoin the team? Or is it... Yeah, I mean, they said uh, the reason we're sending you down is because yeah. of your ankle. Uh, they were pretty uh, upfront about that. Uh, I mean, there's nothing I can do about it. They right. can't really promise me anything because sure. they need players to replace me mm -hmm. when I came down. And, I mean, those players, I think, are playing pretty well. They've been winning ever since. So, uh, I mean, they can't really promise you anything. And, I mean, I went sure. through it last year, and I'm used to it. Uh, but I mean, you, all you, I'm in their uh, thoughts now. You know, I'm in their on their radar, and uh, that's all I can do and hope for the best. You guys are gonna get a little bit of a chance to work on that conditioning <laughs> here in the next uh, few days. Four games in five nights and uh, eight games in twelve. Mm -hmm. um, you know, a lot of people have t talked about this being your opportunity to to chase down Odessa and, and really kind of develop and get into that first place mm -hmm. uh, spot. Is that something that um, is pervasive through the locker room? Is that how you feel, you know, as a leader of the team? Is that kind of what you're, you're, you're reminding everybody? Uh, I think, uh, I mean, everyone's goal is to win every game, basically. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think we got to look at every game one at a time and uh, take it one period at a time and, and, and see what happens. We need to make a push now, no matter if there's a team ahead of us or not. Uh, you want to be playing your best, rolling into playoffs, and uh, I think that's our main goal. Um, being, being, becoming first would be a great accomplishment, especially when Odessa's been so far ahead all year. Uh, also, uh, we'd probably get a better draw the first round. Uh, us against Texas might be a messy, uh, yeah. round, messy uh, series, but yeah. I mean, we'll we'll take whatever's given to us. Uh, we're going to work hard down the stretch, that's for sure, and we're not going to give teams games. Great.